story coming out of Washington has lit up Twitter and Facebook. Congressman Ron Paul and Barney Frank will be introducing a bill that would end marijuana prohibition. A short time ago, Texas Republican Ron Paul spoke with me about exactly what he's advocating. Take a listen. Well, removing it from the jurisdiction of the federal government allowed the states to regulate it like they would alcohol. And, you know, this is this seems to be strange for a lot of people. But, you know, I'm only going back to 1937 where that's the way it was handled. Uh, the uh, uh, the states always did this. And, and I'm motivated strongly also because the states legalize it for the use of medicinal part purposes. And it is helpful for people who have cancer and are getting ke uh, chemotherapy. So this is not a great, uh, a, a huge radical idea. It's something that uh, was legal for a long, long time. And uh, the war against marijuana causes so much hardship and accomplishes nothing. So I would say that marijuana, uh, as far as causing highway problems, is minuscule compared to alcohol. And yet we knew prohibition of alcohol was very bad. So this is just getting back to a sensible position uh, on uh, how we handle difficult problems. And for me, it should be the state. All right. I, uh, I'm let the states regulate. And I'm very, I, yes, I agree with that. That's a free market position. It's a Tenth Amendment position. Mr. Paul, one of the debates, though, you came out for legalization of marijuana and heroin. Is that still your view? Well, you know, I've never used the word uh, heroin in my life when I talk about legalizing freedom of choice. And that one, too, was once once legal. And, uh, you know, I concluded that argument, and they sort of got to point when I said uh, when they were making a big deal, you know, your freedom philosophy means somebody, you know, could use heroin. I said, you know, if tomorrow we legalized heroin, how many of you in this audience would use heroin? Of course, nobody would. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a moot point. It's how you regulate things in whether or not this trillion dollars we spent on the war on drugs. Really, since the early 1970s, the modern-day war on drugs started with Richard Nixon, and it's a catastrophe, just as prohibition of alcohol was a catastrophe. So, yes, there are regulations for children and the way the states want to handle it, but, uh, you, you know, it's sort of like saying, I believe in the First Amendment. Oh, that means you're pro-pornography or something like that. It's ridiculous. You know, uh, permitting something to happen doesn't mean that you authorize it or endorse it. it is not the endorsement of what people do. But, but do you worry? The, do you worry, sir? I mean, look, I'm a recovering uh, alcoholic and drug abuser. I'm coming up to 16 years with God's grace. Do you worry, sir, that this opens the door to more drug use, sets the wrong example, sends the wrong signal? It's an honest question on my part. Do you ever worry about that? You yourself? No, are because a I, I think I think it's I think it's much worse because kids today uh, have an easier time finding marijuana than they can alcohol. Alcohol. And uh, how many cases of uh, drug addictions were prevented by the laws? Do the laws really do it? Would it put you, putting you in prison for about five years? Do you think that would have helped you? Would that have cured you? No, this is this is a medical problem. It's not a legal problem. You shouldn't be a criminal because you have a problem with drugs. So I just don't think putting you in prison would have been helpful at all. All right. Well, I did it through a faith-based self-help program, but I Good. appreciate your point of view, the, Dr. The Paul. market, Larry, that's the market way of operating, well, taking care of a problem. I d yes, and I do. And I want to agree with you on, on why the states should have the jurisdiction on this and so many other All things. Right. I think that's exactly the right we position. We I, should be very consistent. I got to go. Uh, Congressman Paul, you're terrific for helping us out tonight. I appreciate it.